Hello, this is Hillary Parm here, back with my vlog. It's been a while, taking a little break, cause I've been a little busy, which is no excuse, which is something we will talk about here in a little bit. Um, but I'm really excited to introduce my next guest. This is Dr. Brent Myers. He is full of knowledge and he's super awesome and I'm so honored to even be able to talk with him. So I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about himself. Hey everybody, so Brent Myers, Obviously, we're here in Asheville, North Carolina. I'm a chiropractor, uh, more of an emphasis on sports medicine of chiropractic and, and manual therapy, which means soft tissue care, along with chiropractic when needed. And I originally grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, Akron, in between those two areas. Went to school in St. Louis and ended up here about 12 years ago now. Mm -hmm. And here we are, 12 years later, in my own office, pretty cool. Yeah, this is awesome. So I think that's something we were talking about a little bit before this is we're, we're all busy, you included. You're not an exception. You don't just have, you know, this chiropractic office to focus on. You have four kids. You work out. Um, so how do you go about staying healthy while you have all of this going on yeah. in your life? You know, busyness is, I sometimes try to remind myself that the word busy isn't you know, a negative word. We sometimes associate busy with being negative. It mm -hmm. just means that we have a lot going on and it's all about balance. So one of the keys with having four kids, it's in, in my own business and then I'm traveling a lot with uh, various teams I work with is about preparation. So especially when it comes to nutrition, it's something I'm always working on and I can always do better. I think all of us can is mapping out a week and knowing kind of where your nutrition needs to be mm -hmm. because what always happens is is when you're not prepared for a meal or a snack or something that's when usually your, your diet or your nutrition goes down downhill I can definitely attest to this <laughs> yeah so so that's the biggest thing I've learned is that is that I have to look and I still have to work better at this because as the school year just started it's the beginning of school year so mm -hmm. now everybody's getting back into a routine again and I look at Sunday evening, okay, let's look at the whole week. What mm -hmm. days are we gonna be home as a family that we can eat as a family? Mm -hmm. And what days are maybe I'm not gonna be around and we have to have, we're a big leftover family, so have leftovers. Mm -hmm. And then that being the case, and I've gotta prepare, usually my wife helps a ton with all the cooking, um, just cause I'm, I'm gone so much. And so we gotta make extra food, and that extra food needs to be put in containers, and there you go, so you always have food on the go. Some will argue you shouldn't eat on the go. That's very true nutritionally mm -hmm. and, and digestively. But sometimes if I'm driving down to Clemson, I've got an hour and a half no in the choice. car. I have yeah. no choice, I've got Life. to eat. And actually it's my quietest time to eat is by yeah. myself in a car. So the key is preparation. You gotta, you gotta prep your food. And you always gotta have little snacks here and there. We, are, we go to Trader Joe's a ton mm -hmm. and so I always have bags of sugar snap peas around, celery, stuff that I can just eat on the go that, that, is, that is gonna keep my blood sugar stable, and then some protein as well. So that may be pre-cooked meat or um, some type of, uh, I don't do shakes as much anymore. Yeah. Shakes is, is reserved only towards some workout times. Some kinds of hidden sugars sometimes. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so I reserve that only for workouts. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be meat, it's gonna be sometimes like just plain, sugar-free yogurt, um, like Greek yogurt. I really like the Skyer kind. And then adding in like some amino acids to boost the, the nutritional profile up a little bit, some chia seeds. And then you've got a good, well-rounded kind of snack there. And that's an easy way to just mm -hmm. eat on the go. Does that make sense? And these, and these snacks that you're throwing out for people who don't really, they always think that eating healthy just sounds pretty boring and plain those sound delicious those are really good options that you're throwing out for people who may be new to eating healthy or trying to eat healthier on the go because that brought up something in my head you, you have kids and you said you eat family dinners and I'm sure that sometimes they have sports practices to get to and they might have to eat on the go and a lot of parents just they get uh, frazzled which rightfully so you're parenting and you try and just swing them through McDonald's how how do you plan for kids? Like what are healthy options for kids on the go? Or, yep. Cause I'm sure you have some picky eaters or they might not like what you like, right? Yes, and we, we, are, not, we are not a fast food family whatsoever. Okay. Um, I 
can't remember the last time. And, and in fact, the, the only fast food I think my kids ever eat right, once in a blue moon would be a Chick-fil-A. Um, we do a lot of Chipotle, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I'm a big fan of their company because I eat a lot of their food. I think it can be... <laughs> Chipotle, sponsor him. It's awesome. It's great. <laughs> Well-rounded, healthy. You can make it, and you make it smart, and you've got a great, great real meal there. My kids love it. Yeah. They can make their own little meals there, um, and most of them are will eat all that food on there. They can pick their own food. So so Chipotle on the go when we, when we know we're not going to be home. Um, again, because of, of, of some of the, the cool little stores we have in town, like... Trader Joe's, and we have the, the Hobby mm. Company, which which used to be Amazing Savings, is what we still call it. You have quick little snacks you can get, like bars and whatnot. Um, we always try and get home, what my wife does, in between school and sports, mm -hmm. and get them a snack right away. She'll cook a lot of times ahead of time. One of the a Christmas presents I did not ask for, nor did I know I was getting, and I think she really got it for herself <laughs> versus me. I don't know if anybody else has had those Marriage gifts out there. Um, it's called the Instapot. Oh, I've heard good things the, about this. It is, um, as I like to say, the bee's knees. So we can literally put a pack of chicken in there, throw in some salsa or whatever, something healthy. So so a pack of chicken and salsa, there's there's nothing wrong with that. You yeah. know, if, it's, if, it's, if it's just good basic salsa, we throw that all in there, you set it, you leave, Snap. and it's done. It's done it's in done. an hour. We have pulled chicken or just some chopped yeah. up chicken because it naturally just kind of falls apart. And the kids and then, love it. Yeah, and then we, we eat it. Then we got a quick little burrito or taco or just like some type of chicken and rice or chicken yeah. and bean dinner. Um, you can throw in literally, I've done this by mistake, I forgot to get dinner ready, that was my job one night, and I dropped the ball. <laughs> and um, I threw in a frozen <laughs> roast at three o'clock. We were eating a beef roast dinner with potatoes yeah. by five o'clock. So two hours later, we had to complete. So the Instapot is the bomb. So for maybe for family. families, yeah, Instapot. Instapot. Yep. It's also yep. another plug for Instapot yep. and Chipotle. Instapot. That's what we've gathered so far. Yeah. I'm just kidding, yeah. we've got lots of good info. Yeah, because I also noticed he has this really great whiteboard behind us. Um, you can't read it, so I'm just gonna have you. Um, there's some other really great back to school breakfast ideas for kids as well because you're sending them yeah. off to school you don't want them to go hungry or just probably just throw some fruit loops on them these are some great ideas yeah. i'm a huge stickler for breakfast it's 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 a it's my my number one deal breaker in our family we have everybody has to eat breakfast my, my daughter is not a big breakfast person but we still try and force her to eat something the keys with breakfast i've learned and i, I learned it through a, a a gentleman who I've taken a lot of classes through, his, he's known as the Strength Sensei or Charles Pollockin, and he's a big advocate of what's called the meat and nuts breakfast. And what the meat and nuts breakfast really means is it needs to have high protein and high healthy fats. Yeah. All the research is out there on why that is, you can, you can look it up, but basically it means the more protein you have in the morning, the, um, the more satisfied you are, the less hungry you are throughout mm -hmm. the day. It also creates more of an anabolic or, a, or a, your body's lots of energy effect. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the fat, your brain needs fat right away in the morning. That's the way it runs. It runs on fat primarily. It loves fat. Now, it has glucose as well, but it really prefers to have some healthy fat. I love fat. fat. Eggs. And that's why some of that whole ketogenic trend is happening because mm -hmm. a lot of people's brains work better that way. So high fat, high protein is, is deal breakers in our family. That's what we have. And not all my family, unfortunately, likes eggs. There's only out of four Some people kids, don't. Yeah. two and a half, we'll call it. Sometimes one does, sometimes one doesn't like eggs. So and people are vegan here. Exactly. So they don't so, eat eggs. So you can't always have eggs, but eggs, eggs and and some type of healthy fats an option. We do a like lot. An avocado, maybe. Yep. Eggs and avocado is one of my favorite go-to's. We do a lot of smoothies. Um, we had just recently gotten the Ninja Blender, mm -hmm. which was. We had just the old fashioned blender. And what I like about that is you can sneak in Veggies. kale and spinach mm -hmm. and your kids don't even know it. There's no taste to it. And then you can add in a healthy protein source. We stick to more vegan proteins a lot of times. So rice or pea protein. That's what I do um, as well. Collagen mm -hmm. protein, that's a new trend. It's really good and effective and there's some really tasty ones out there. So we'll mix all that in. And usually it's maybe some, some freeze dried um, powdered greens or something. Mm -hmm. you know, so that's an option for a quick morning. Yeah. Um, also, I love at, you can get them at other stores, but again, Trader Joe's has turkey or chicken sausages. 
Most of them are. And they don't have a lot of preservatives exactly. in it. Exactly. There's like four to six grams of fat with like maybe 12 to 14 grams of protein. protein so that's protein. a huge mm -hmm. amount of protein for a kid. And again, you add in some avocado, a handful of nuts. Nuts are easy. Kids love those. There's tons of different varieties you can go to. And you got a huge, great breakfast. This is. These are amazing options for kids and yeah. adults. What else is on there? Is there anything else? Um, uh, something interesting that you have up there is soup. soup I don't yes. really think of soup for breakfast, but kids kids my, are the kind that have anything for breakfast. Yeah, my so. oldest son loves soup, so that's why it's on there. And um, honestly, we've done it many times. We've even done chili, like leftover chili. Ooh. And honestly, if you really think about it, getting out of your brain that that's breakfast, all the ingredients in chili make for a perfect breakfast. You've got the beans oh, that yeah. help with prolonged energy. You've got obviously high fiber mm -hmm. in there as well. Veggies. You've got lots of protein and you've got lots of healthy fats. I think hopefully if we have some cold weather coming up soon, I might take that on. It works. Because <laughs> it Turkey sounds chili delicious. Even, even better. Chili Turkey and coffee. Chili. Yep, there you go. I've done it. Warms the soul. Yep. So something else that's on his board, which I am curious to learn about, is supplements. You always hear, you know, when people try to lose weight, they, like you said, they go on these shakes, they, they, they do slim fast or, you know, whatever they want to do with their supplements. But some of these are kind of a, a, a hoax, you would say. I think they're just trying to market to uh, people losing weight. What are some good supplements that adults, athletes, non-athletes, kids can take? Like, what do you think? So I break my supplements down when I talk to patients into two to three tiers or levels. So you got your A, your B, and your C. A is everybody needs them. Um, they're deal breakers and you really shouldn't move from A to B unless you've gotten all your A's. Meaning okay. that we all need some type of multivitamin. Okay. It has to be a high quality one, not one bought at a, a, a drug store. Many times there's, there's tons of fillers, fillers. in them. They're compacted very, very closely. You're not going to digest them. They're really poor ingredients. So you need a high quality multivitamin, mostly because we don't get the nutrients that we typically get or had years ago, just from the soil being changed. Our lifestyles are more stressful. Mm -hmm. The more stress you have, you burn more nutrients. So you need a multivitamin. The next thing you need is vitamin D. Everybody's deficient in vitamin D. I do lots of blood testing on patients. and. I have yet to see a really acceptable level of vitamin D on somebody who's not supplementing with them. So okay. you have to take vitamin D. Now where would someone get that? Is that a pill or a liquid? Yeah, so you want to take a pill, but it's best to know your level. Okay. Because everybody processes and absorbs it differently. So you want to kind of know where you're at before you start taking the vitamin because you want to see how where you're initially at and then mm -hmm. how high you want to go. You could get away with taking a thousand to three thousand IU and be okay, most people. Okay. But some absorb better than others. So okay. vitamin D would be number two. Number three would be a probiotic. All uh, right. Most people don't get enough good, healthy gut bacteria. You need healthy gut bacteria to fix something called your neurotransmitters. That is what makes your brain work. It also either helps calm your body down or it helps elevate your body. And many of what's called neurotransmitters are made in your gut. So if you don't have the proper healthy gut bacteria, you're going to be lacking in some of those. Mm -hmm. So number three is a probiotic, like I said. Number four is magnesium, especially mm -hmm. if somebody's working out. Anytime a muscle contracts, anytime you sweat, you, you're, absor you're getting rid of your magnesium. So you, you need more magnesium. It's the, the fourth most abundant mineral in the body. So you've got to have magnesium. I, again, I've yet to see somebody who's who's at a good level. Good level. I take a very high amount, and I still kind of float on the the high above average range, but still not super high. We just use a lot of it. A lot of it. So magnesium is my number four, and number five. Recently, I've switched this to more of a a powdered freeze dried dried green or veggies. Okay. I like that for most people. Um, because again, we just don't get enough veggies, we don't get enough no. fruits, so it's a good, quick way to get a lot of nutrients that we're lacking and add more alkalinity or make ourselves more alkaline um, in our diet. If, if somebody is eating a really whole foods based diet, then maybe I'll switch to fish oil. So number okay. five is either a, a freeze-dried greens, which I think is most important. Would that be like a wheatgrass, or what would that be no, typically? No, there's some really good powders out there. I like use, an amazing greens? Yes. Okay. So I use like a company um, I like called Nutridyne okay. because they have a million really good tasting ones from grape to 
espresso. Oh, so, there's flavored yeah, greens. So it's flavored. So you can just I didn't mix know this. it into anything. So I really love those freeze dried freeze, freeze dried greens. It's awesome. If somebody has some inflammatory issues, I'll switch that to a fish oil. But that's the level one. You have to have those first. Those five. Yep. Okay. For, and that's everybody. Five. Any kind of across the board. If you're if you're an athlete or not, that's just for general yep. health. General health. It'll it'll improve your performance in the gym, number one. But if you don't have those, it doesn't matter what your level B are, your level two are, you're still missing those nutrients. So those if, main ones. So if you don't take magnesium and you don't take a multivitamin, mm -hmm. but you take creatine and beta alanine, well you're still missing key nutrients that are gonna allow those products to work even better. Mm -hmm. And these are nutrients that you hear in general anyways that are in food, like it's not necessarily I don't know, you're not throwing out words that our body doesn't normally produce. We just need the help now because yeah, yeah. the way our life and society has changed, we're just not getting them as much in food anymore. Yeah, if you just look up magnesium Process. soil levels or magnesium in soil percentages, it's lower than it's ever been. Um, and when you look at a, a, they did a study where they looked at an orange now versus an orange in the 50s and 60s. Oh, wow. And the percentage is drastically different in terms of how much vitamin C is in there. It's just because our, our planet's gone through a lot of, you know, stress on the soil, mm -hmm. stress with pesticides, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you need those nutrients. It's kind of like in the CrossFit world, you can't really do a muscle up if you don't know how to do a pull up. Exactly. So you got to start at the bottom Thanks for first. saying that too. <laughs> you got to start there. People Same forget. Thing. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta basically to live your best life. You just gotta sometimes go back to ground zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that you said that. Instead of all these other supplements that are out there that are marketing to the yep. athletes, you like you said, general human health number one base level. Yep. Start there. Yep. And I'm sure you can get good ones for you know in bulk that'll last you as far as financially. Yeah, yeah. a couple of tricks on those basic supplements we talked about. Um, we talked about multivitamin and, and high quality there. Magnesium should be chelated, mm -hmm. so look up chelated magnesium. Um, fish oil, do not buy it like at a drugstore. It needs to be online, high quality, that's really been cleaned and purified, because if, if it's not, there's been plenty of studies that show that some of the cheaper quality ones are gonna have PCBs, mercury, all this junk that you don't want, so you're not really helping yourself. Probiotics, just change them frequently so you get different healthy gut bacteria. Freeze dried greens, again, it's based on taste, so just different look flavors. This one's Nutridyne, I love because of all the flavors. Yeah, I didn't know that because I always think of the ones I used to buy that kind of smelled like algae. Yeah, yeah. There's some really good <laughs> So I could see ones. if someone's trying to start, that would be scary for them. So that's really awesome. There's different flavors. Yep. Yep. So. All right, you've given us a lot of wonderful information. Is there anything else that you would like to highlight specifically? Let's talk level two if somebody's an athlete. Okay. I think that's important. So I need to know this. So you've got the <laughs> basics down. So say we've gotten all those bases covered and somebody's a competitive athlete or they are um, a runner, just they're, at, they're outside working out all the time or in a gym. The next most important thing I think would be electrolytes, high quality electrolytes. Most of us, again, are lacking a lot of those nutrients that help our muscles repair and recover. Mm -hmm. Electrolytes, like the word says, it's electricity or conductivity within our muscles. Mm -hmm. And it's not some of these sports drinks we know of. They're usually lacking most of the important electrolytes. It needs to have potassium, it needs to have sodium, magnesium, bicarbonate, which a lot of them don't have. Bicarbonate buffers lactic acid, and that's like um, baking soda. So, oh. and phosphorus is, is the next one. So you need all those electrolytes. So finding a good quality electrolyte is really important because again, it gets rid of lactic acid, it improves the electricity within mm -hmm. your muscle cells so you'll work out better, longer, yeah. stronger, and then recover quicker. So that'd be one of my number two supplements. Well, is there a specific kind? Would you recommend like a powder or like a coconut water? Or yeah, what so would you coconut recommend? water's great. Coconut okay. water's, it's a little, it has sugar, so you have to watch if you're, if you're looking at Sugar body intake. composition okay. but coconut water is still up there is like my number one or two uh Cineplex is a company that makes a really good high quality electrolyte that a lot of sports teams use um, i like them a lot noon's not too bad there's some good stuff in noon yeah. as well um those are the three best that i can think of offhand another especially, especially when it's so hot out yeah people are just sweating anytime out more than you usual. contract a muscle or sweat you're releasing those electrolytes so you need to get those back in your muscles um, 
The next one would be actually creatine. And creatine has been researched and been around forever now. Mm -hmm. Now the new research that's exciting is it's, it's improving brain health or oh, wow. neuroplasticity or your brain working better as you get older. So there's actually studying creatine in older populations to help prevent um, memory decline, aging, all that stuff. So creatine not, is not just for getting stronger in the gym or lifting more weights, it's also as a, as a health benefit supplement. Mm -hmm. And I would say my, my next one um, would either be probably a neurotropic or a nootropic, depends how you, who you talk to and how you say that. That would be something to help the brain chemistry work. Yeah. So that's the new wave of probably the supplement future is is stuff to make the brain more effective. Mm -hmm. I put this on my Facebook page yesterday. I love what's called lion's mane. It's a um, it's a mushroom. Oh, okay. And it's a mushroom that improves cognition, improves again neuroplasticity, which is essentially the ability for those those brain cells to regenerate, regenerate, repair. And, and just get bigger, stronger. Um, helps with focus, concentration, yeah. firing. So if, if you're in the gym and you're using lion's mane or you're sitting at your computer working on a paper or a desk or something like that, that's gonna make things work quicker. So Ooh. really good. Lion's it's a mushroom, mane. so it sounds natural. Yep, yep. So um, there's a lot of companies out there. Four Sigmatic, a lot of people have heard of. They have the mushroom coffee. Yeah. Um, mm, coffee. It's really good, actually. There's a bunch of companies. Primal Herb is another one that, that makes a really good um, neuro shroom, it's called. And it's a bunch of different um, adaptogens and neurogenic supplements to help your brain. So that would be the next one, is, is stuff to get your brain firing. No, no stimulants. The stimulants are overused and they're, they're not actually improving performance as much as people would like to think. Yeah. Sure, caffeine is a good ergonomic aid, but if you're already overstressed to begin with, you're not helping yourself in the long run. Exactly. I'm not an anti-caffeine guy. Yeah. It's more or less you don't need lots of it. You need right. the stuff to make your brain work better in the gym. And then third would probably be beta alanine, which is really good for a CrossFitter because it helps with prolonged under time training. So a lot of CrossFit okay. activities are going for longer periods of time mm -hmm. and it's really effective for that. Or like a marathon runner maybe? Um, that's a little too long. Too long? It's more like... Like a 5K. No, it's more like for more for lifting and more. Oh, okay, in your I see what you're saying. Forty-five to ninety second range. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I really like that you touched on the brain health That's because cute. without your brain health in general, I think people tend to forget about that. It's all about the muscle pump and and all this, but really, I mean, everything stems from your brain. I mean, if you're without your brain health, what do you? I mean, what do you really have? Yeah, and again, you're going to see more and more topics on brain health. As, mm -hmm. as these years go by here recently. Um, big thing is, is if the gut is not working well, the brain is not gonna work well. And when that's happening, then obviously you get a, like a cascade of other effects happening. So you gotta work on brain health and it starts in the gut first. Mm -hmm. And then it starts with also the most important before all these supplements we talked about is improving sleep and whatnot. So oh, yeah. brain health, improve your gut, take supplements or herbs or mushrooms that help improve the, the uh, firing of your brain, yes. and then work on sleep. But back to why the gut is so important is you have something called GABA, you have something mm -hmm. called serotonin. Serotonin, a lot of people have heard because that's the, that's the feel-good hormone that's released yep. when you eat a lot of carbohydrates, you get sleepy Sugar. and you feel yeah. great at night. Okay. GABA, Thanksgiving. Yeah, GABA is an anti-anxiety um, neurotransmitter, and you make both of those primarily in your gut, and when that's lacking, then you have more anxiety, more stress, mm -hmm. you can't get the signals to settle down, and so you're constantly in an elevated state. So you need those two neurotransmitters to help balance out dopamine and acetylcholine, which is helping for brain and mm -hmm. function and that kind of stuff. So brain, brain is really important. I'm really glad that you touched back on the gut health because I actually learned that the hard way. Um, I was eating foods that I thought were, that I thought were healthy, that they weren't necessarily healthy, and I got really sick and ill for mm -hmm. three months, and it all um, came back to my gut health. Yep. And I like that you mentioned too all the supplements that he's mentioned and food in general. Um, 
I know things can be more expensive, but there are ways to be cost efficient to not skimp out because like you said, you don't want to just put these supplements in your body because they're cheap and then cause more problems in your gut. Yep. And then it just heightens your anxiety, so. What is it, Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine and thy medicine be thy food. Mm -hmm. So start with your food first. And then once you've got that narrowed in, then the, then the level A supplements, the basics, the top five. Mm -hmm. And once those are doing good, then you add in these little benefit um, supplements for your lifestyle, your training, your activity, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Yeah, because really, um, this is great for athletes, but it's also great for just the common person. Like, without your health, you wouldn't be able to go to work or you wouldn't be able to see your grandkids grow up. So this is really good basics for yeah. everyone to live a healthy lifestyle and really a long life. Because mm -hmm. now, I'm yeah. sure in your research, you've seen that humans, our lifespan is essentially shorter because yeah. we're not moving, we're not yep. eating, we're eating all these processed foods that are just you know, cheap and easy, but not fulfilling. Yep. And I think that might be also, like you just said, why, you know, depression and anxiety is high because um, we're not, we're not even getting the nutrients. Our body needs to run correctly. Yeah, exactly. So you, so you're, you're not, a, you're not helping your gut and then you have all these external um, stimulus going on from, you know, social media oh. to, to electronics. I'm not an anti, any of that. It's just mm -hmm. those add to the problem if stuff's not already healthy in the gut and then sometimes we think we need to take stuff or use stuff to help feel better mm -hmm. our adrenals are burnt out or I'm overstressed so I need some type of adrenal help when really you need more sleep a lot of times it just boils down to number one sleep is the number one first and foremost most important medicine mm -hmm. with all that other stuff falling next and, yeah and part of the reason um, we're unfortunately dying younger these new these younger generations than our older ones is probably because of all this stuff that's just not being met yeah. together so sleep too gotta fix sleep this is very great information i know i personally need to uh get the greens i need to get in my top five mm -hmm. and i think this will make me feel better so i really appreciate you telling yep. us i'll all give this you some greens i'll try them out i'll give you a few yeah. <laughs> and i'm sure he would help you if you wanted to come see him um I really appreciate you talking to mm -hmm. us today, and he's a wealth of knowledge, so I hope to have him on again, because there are Sounds many good. aspects that we didn't even touch yet, Yeah. but if there's one thing you'd like to leave anybody with today, what would you like to say? Um, good question. Uh, what I just, two things I just said. One is, uh, let food be thy medicine, thy medicine be thy food, and work hard on your sleep and many of whatever things are going on that, that don't feel right within your body, from your brain to your joints to your gut health, you usually will get better just with those two simple tricks. Yeah. And if you have questions, send them our way. Yeah, send them my way. Go check out his Facebook. Come see him. He's yep. awesome. So, yeah. All right. Goodbye. Thanks for yep. listening.